Hey everybody, how you doing today? Lori from Art Lore, and today we're going to do um, some random colors. I grabbed whatever was workable and doable, and I have no clue how they're going to turn out. It's going to be a dart throw, and I thought it would be kind of fun. They look like they might work. I don't know um, what the color palette will end up looking like, I may leave one of them out. It might be a little too bright for the palette, but I think it'll be fun. So we're gonna get down to the canvas. We're gonna make a mess. I'll show you my colors and then we'll get to the blooms. All right, here we go. Okay, first up we have light olive green. And I added a little bit of white just to tone it down. And I actually might add a little bit more white to it because it's a little bit too bright, I think. This one here is, I don't know. I want to say it's white with a little bit of uh, light pink by Liquitex. Um, it's a pretty pink and I think it'll pair quite well with everything else we've got going on. This here is just some leftover. I'm just going to randomly put that in there. Um, ooh, that's a little thick. Uh, this is the Azul Gold by Golden. And it just, um, it's a real fun, um, uh, fun color. And I'm in love with it. Like I'm in love with the Harvest Gold. And I think, um, I just want to use it up because I just can't even throw that little tiny bit away. This is the Yumalicious TLP, um, Harvest Gold, and that's so beautiful. This one here is Burnt Sienna and Red Oxide, and I mixed them together, and I actually threw in just a little jigger of the Azul Gold to see if I could get a little bit of a, a shimmer to it, and it didn't do a whole lot, but it is still a very pretty color. This one here is a conglomeration of, I have no clue. Well, I kind of do, but I don't, I don't know. It's Van Dyke Brown, it's black, it's a little bit of um, purple, I don't know. And I just, I just want to use it up because it's kind of a pretty color and I think it'll be really pretty, especially with this pink. I think these two, I think it'll be really pretty together and I think it'll pair very well with that. Um, I'm not sure about that green, but I do want to see some green in there because I have this. And this is the uh, magenta, medium magenta by Liquitex. And then I added just a little dot of the Bordeaux to deepen it up a little bit. So, but see, see I just think that these two look good together. So I'm kind of like, let's just do it all. So... Okay, so we're going to do three blooms, and um, what I want to do is I want to be able to uh, spin it and have it look deconstructed without tilting. So I've added more pillow than normal. I'm going to just do three blooms and get them so that they go more this way than this way. And that way they'll fold off the canvas uh, when I spin. So this is a 12 by 24 gallery wrap from Michaels. So let's get started. We're going to go right in the middle. And my paints have been sitting for a bit. You know, the transition with weather, it's just remarkable how it can have effect on your, um, uh, I'm just going to drizzle this because I know it's going, oh, well, that's gonna glob, but I just, I just know that that's going to take over because it is so dark. So I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of that on there, even though I globbed it on there a little bit. That's okay. Um, yeah, my air was on, the heat was off, um, yeah, so it's just been kind of crazy, but I'm trying to keep my room at a decent temperature here so that things dry. But when I had my table made, 
I had sh my table is 48 by 48 and I had uh, three shelves put in underneath. So I um, put my paintings underneath the table and then I put cardboard all the way around to lock it in and put it in its little oven. So it, it, is, it is enclosed, it is nice and cozy in its little, um, in its little oven, but um, I don't know, I'm, it's, it's been taking a lot longer to dry, that is for sure. Okay, so now I think I'm going to do the pink last and then I'm just going to drizzle some of this on there because I don't, I mean, I, I don't even know if it's going to show up. I've used it in a couple other um, blooms and I, I never really even saw it. So here's the nickel azo gold. We're gonna add that in there, give that a little jigger. And then last but not least will be our pink. And hopefully we'll get some pink cells. And then we'll add a little bit more to the edge there. And darn it all, I swear you can't teach an old dog new tricks. I forgot my cell activator again. All right, here we go. Okay, so when I blow, I'm going to go this way, this way, then there, because I really want everything to come off the side. All right, here we go. All right, cool fan, high air. Okay, one right there. It's going to go in the same order. And you know what? That green did not show up. So I was right. I had forgotten about that. I'm going to have to learn on why that did not show up. I have to see what that is, if that's a opaque or what. I don't know. Um, I'm glad I drizzled this though. Because it did take up quite nicely through there, but it's not fighting and competing with anything else. So we're going to just drizzle again. I do, I kind of like the combination though. I really wish the green would have showed up now. I think the green would have been quite pretty in there. Maybe what I'll do is add the green. Um, well, I did add it earlier, but I don't know. I think I'll add it right now and just see if it shows up. We'll see. And then I'll put the gold over it. And actually, I think I'll do that. There, let's try that. Now the drizzle of the gold, which we cannot have too much of. I just ordered some more TLPs. And we'll see what happens if I can work with those. I'm learning and learning. That's selling up quite pretty. The pink is showing. I think I'll put just a little bit more in the center.
Okay. Almost only need two blooms, to be perfectly honest. All right, here we go. That is a lot of black in the center, but I have a feeling we're going to lose it anyway, so. But maybe that will sell up, we'll see. I don't know what I did there. I mean, if worse comes to worse, I can scrape that one off and do another one. Let's just see, maybe it'll, maybe it will sell up, I don't know. Um, I'm almost wondering if we actually need one here. Maybe just a baby one, just a little tiny one, just so that we can lock in the negative space because I really don't want a whole lot of negative space. Okay, we're just going to do a baby one right there. Nothing major. At least I got to use up my Azul Gold. I'm, it's very um, disheartening when paints dry up and... You know what? There's green. Holy guacamole. But well, as I was saying, it's very disheartening when your paints dry up and then you have to throw them away. They're like my children. I don't want to get rid of them. It's like, oh no, poor me being gone. Paint's gone. Oh well. All right, last but not least of that, and now some pink. My pouring medium and the pillow, everything is in the description. My pillow is the PPG Multi Pro Interior uh, paint and that I get at Home Depot and I get the egg shell and I love it. And then my pouring medium is the Bare 8300 and I um, mix that with uh, Sherwin-Williams Infinity. They're both untinted and then I do equal parts of that and then I do one part of, hold on, Minwax Polycrylic. And I've been doing the uh, semi-gloss. I always want to call it semi-clear gloss, but it's just, I think, pretty sure it's just semi-gloss. Let me look. Hold on. I want to make sure. Oh, I am right. It's clear semi-gloss. Good grief. Okay, clear semi-gloss. Okay, so here we go. The last bloom. That is not selling up like I wanted it to, but I'm still just going to leave it because I have a feeling it's going to get lost, which is fine because I just want coverage there. Okay, here we go.
turn off. So sorry. Excuse me. Okay. You know, this is very sadly uh, selling up here a little bit in there. Every couple little babies going on in there, but I'm leaving it. I'm not going, I'm just going to let it do its thing. I just want to see what happens and see how it looks. So, um, yes, and I added more pillow, like I said. And I may have to add a little tiny bit more here and there. Um, where's my spoon? I'm just gonna grab some white here, put it on this corner. And that just will really ensure that that will come off. Same over here. Gosh, I hate to ruin that. I'm just gonna grab some of this paint here and go right here. This is all coming off anyway, so it doesn't matter what color it is. Just wanna make sure I have some coverage there. I'm actually liking these colors. They're not, they're not as bizarre as I thought they would be. They actually all paired quite well. Oh, we've got a lot of little hollow spots. Bye-bye. All right, here we go. And that will help to get that off the corner. Gotta do it now, gang. There, all right. So let's see how the centers are doing. Well, this poor little girl is not very happy. Um, this little guy is not bad. All right, so. I'm excited to spin this out because I'm hoping that it continues this way and we don't lose too much this way. All right, I'm going to continue to fill my sides in so I don't bore you, and then I'm going to be right back. Okay, I was able to fix up some of my sides, and um, it's looking beautiful. I love it. So why don't we give it a little spin here and see what happens. Um, I think I'm going to go this way. Not sure if I need my board here to cover me up, but let's just see. I'm not going to be as aggressive as I normally am with my spins. Um, I, I did puff a little tiny bit. No, I did not puff. I took some of the cell activator out, and I kind of goofed it up a little bit. I stuck my finger in there a little bit too much, but... I, I think it'll be okay, and I might be able to manipulate that after I'm done spinning. Um, but isn't that pretty? I am loving that. And I love, <clears throat> excuse me, that it's now going over the edges. Um, I've added enough uh, pillow. And, um, yeah. So I see that we still have quite a bit of paint. So I went, let's see, I went this way. So I think I want to go this way now. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I want to get some of that off from there. Even though those cells were so pretty. But yeah, this is really lovely. I really goofed that up right there. I don't know if you can see that, but... Um, right there. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to figure that out, how to uh, manipulate that. To, I'm going to try and bury that white into the cell activator and see what happens. But yeah, this turned out really pretty. Um, I do see something I don't like right there. So there. 
Okay. It's just, it was like a straight line. I didn't like that at all. Okay, let's go this way. There we go, much better. Cover that little guy up right there. Don't wanna forget those little spots. Yeah, that's covered. That is, well, no, I gotta clean my spoon off. And just do that. That looks good. That looks good. Oh, you know what? I don't even have to fix it. It fixed itself because it's like almost gone. So that's wonderful. Okay, I'm in love with this. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'm hoping that I got enough paint off because I, I really like how these little guys, the little dots came, the little cells right there, and these little cells in through there. And this center bloom is just phenomenal. And it's a deconstructed, it's a spinning, my version of spinning deconstructed bloom. So I'm hoping <clears throat> that I got enough paint off in the center. So let's just give it a little test or Rooney. Oh, no, I think I need to spin it again. Unfortunately. So we are going to go, yeah, I'm gonna lose that, but that's okay. Just gonna go one more, two more times, and then I think we'll be good. And there's not a whole lot you can do. Um, and because I added more paint in this on the canvas with my pillow, next time I won't add nearly as much in the center. That will give me um, more uh, less less spins. That'll give me less spins. Yeah, you can tell that there's still a lot of paint coming off because you can see how it's falling off what was there before. And it's really dripping. A lot of paint. So, note to self. Don't need nearly as much paint, but just make sure that you stretch it out a little bit, the uh, pillow. All right, so let's give it another try here. Oh, that's way better. Way better. I love it though. And I love this cover combination. As odd as it was to begin with, it turned out great. But I really do feel that um, the Harvest Gold and the Nickel Azel Gold uh, do their magic and they incorporate into the other colors and they soften everything. And that is my story and I'm sticking to it. Um, I got a little dot here that I want to get rid of. And then I'm taking you down. That sounded like really gangster. I'm taking you down. All right, there we go. Okay. All right, so let's go this way. No, I'm going to go this way with it, and we'll start up from the bottom up. Oh, I'm so sorry. One more little white dot. 
Got to get rid of it. There we go. Pleat it. Okay. Let's do it. Sorry about the snap and my finger there. Sorry. Okay. And the floor. Jeez, Louise. Okay. Isn't that really pretty? Yeah. You can see the uh, harvest gold and the nickel azul gold, how it just weaves itself into the colors and it just makes them very dreamy. It makes the petals dreamy. Yeah, there's the center bloom and the cells, they exploded and they are just so pretty. Love it, winner, winner, chicken dinner. And yes, we did lose you, but the remains of you are beautiful. I'm glad I put it there though, because that would have been all negative space and I did not want negative space. So I achieved what I set out to do. All right, there you have it. Thank you so much for joining me today and allowing me into your home. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe and leave me a comment. And we will be seeing you soon with the next bloom. Bye.